We've got freezing temperatures out here for today's game between the away team and the Buffaloes of Colorado. And here come the Buffaloes. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler. Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close. Kirk, I agree with you. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. Colorado has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Graham fields it at the 13. Spinning. Get the ball here at the 24-yard line. They line up in an eye. The counter. He has some room. He spins around. Tackle. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The away team set up in the gun. They'll run the option. And they got him for a loss. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 36. Norton lines up in the shotgun. Sheds that one. They'll drop him for a loss. They go with the draw, but it fools no one. You know it's a bad sign when you run a draw play and no one on the defense yells, Pass! Well, that's why sometimes you'll hear smarter quarterbacks yelling run during the play action and yell pass during the draw play. Colorado brings in their nickel package. They go with a toss. They'll wrestle them down in the backfield. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. There's nothing conservative about this play calling, fellas. Looking, throws, and he dropped it. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They're fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Snap is high. He can scoop. The 10. Touchdown, Buffalo. Nice ball, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his big playability is because the offensive linemen executed their assignments to perfection. on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter and the score, Colorado 7, the away team nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Scott fields it at the 19. Spin move. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll set up shot at the 31-yard line. Norton is back in the gun. They snap it to the back. He's out of bounds. He picks up four yards on the carry. From the gun. Norton will hand it off. And he's taken down. And he picks up the first. Nice job by the halfback, taking the delayed handoff and making something out of that play. First and ten, ball on the 42-yard line. The Buff line up with six defensive backs. Godsey gets the call. The misdirection play gets him four yards. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 46. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Colorado, 7, 
the away team nothing. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. The Buffs bring in their dime package. Counter play. There he goes. Tackle. Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. And he stopped behind the line. Anytime a defense has their safeties coming up making plays behind the line of scrimmage, that tells the offense they've got to start throwing the ball downfield to keep them honest. Second and 11. Ball on the 39-yard line. The away team line up in a goal line formation. They go with the run. And he's tackled. That's a three-yard pickup. It's third down and eight to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Godsey is the single setback. There's a play fake. Looks over the middle. And down he goes. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. The away team line up with two tight ends. Godsey takes a handoff, spins up field, broke away from one. Look out, man. Kirk, did you see that? Did I? I'm just surprised he got up from That's how you deliver a big hit. Second and one. This is the ninth play of this drive. For the first time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up in the shotgun. He'll get the call again. And they make the stop. First down on the run there. Let me tell you something. That was a good play. But you got to try to conserve some clock there. No question. You're in an obvious hurry-up mode. you got to get to the outside and get out of bounds. Norton with four wide receivers. And he's tackled. A one-yard gain on the play. The away team are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Norton drops back. End zone! Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The away team called for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Godsey, the lone back. Norton, back to throw. He's looking. Down the middle. And it's caught for the touchdown. The quarterback mixed things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills. And I've seen a lot of improvement in him. Well, I guess they're going to take a chance here. Norton pitches out to the right. And they got him for a loss. up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 34 takes it at the 23. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Drop back to pass. Going deep. Lays it out there. Got it both. And that one's fallen incomplete. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Colorado. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 15 takes it to 21. <laughs> Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. 
the away team, line up with six defensive backs. He passes it. He got it! To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Colorado! What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? the PAT. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Colorado 14, the away team 6. Colorado ready to kick this one off. And it's a short kickoff. Scott takes it to 15. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25. High formation here. Gotzi on the inside handoff. And down he goes. Gain of nine. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Bunch formation. Norton gives it up the middle. Knocked out of bounds. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. The big guy with room to run. He spins. And he's all the way down to the 31-yard line. And they keep it on the ground and get the first. <laughs> it's almost unfair having this kid at fullback. You're right, Lee. This offense is as good as anybody in utilizing their fullback. Again with a carry. They'll bring him down. A pickup of five. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. All on the 26-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Fullback, handoff, tackle. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 24. The away team come out in the ace formation. Rolls right, throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Caught, but out of bounds by the tight end. Heck of an effort here by the tight end to come down with the football. The only problem is he couldn't get a foot in. Either the coach has no faith in his kicker or a lot of faith in his offense. And he's taken down. Well, a field goal there would have helped, but instead they go for it and they're stopped short. The coaching staff has to make smarter decisions out there. Set up shot at the 22-yard line. The Buffalo with four receivers. Back to pass. Across the middle. Got it. Molina brings him down. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. With the spin, there's a missed tackle. Hardy with a takedown. About seven yards on that carry. It's second down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. Colorado sets up in the eye. Another run. And down he goes. And that was a nice job of running. You know what, Brad? If they can utilize a balanced offense, mix up the run with the pass, they should be able to get more of these five to six yard runs. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Colorado 14, the away team 6. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. 
on the ground with the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 44. The defense lines up with six DBs. Up the middle. Duke move. Gets past the tackler. Pass some daylight. The 10. Touchdown, Colorado. What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Graham fields it at the 19. The confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. And they push him out. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. The away team set up in the gun. Looking. Short toss. Complete. He's out of bounds. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second and seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. Norton back in the gun. Looks. Going deep on the left side. Got it. Brought down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. The offense calls a timeout. And that was their last timeout. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Godsey gets the call again. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Going for two is the right call here. Norton hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. I would expect the onside kick here, but it looks like they're going to kick it deep. Here's the kick. Number 34 feels it at the 22. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Colorado will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And he takes a knee. Second and 12 coming up here. All in their own 27. And he'll take a knee. to go. Ball on their own 25. No need to risk a fumble. A simple kneel down will do here. 